I don't even really know where to start. Logan was. Let's talk about Logan, Farsiders. Hmm. Farside movie reviews. All right, Farsiders. So let's get into Wolverine. Now, I do want to say before this starts, I need you guys to give me a little bit of leeway, a little bit of grace, because this review will likely be all over the place. Let me, let me tell you something. Let me tell you why that is. My reviews are different sometimes, you guys. Sometimes you'll see me do a review and it'll be really technical, kind of by the numbers. Let's talk about the acting. Let's talk about the directing. Let's talk about the cinematography. And then other times it'll be all over the place. This one will likely be all over the place. Now, here's why that is. You say, why is that, Al? Well, it's because I talk about movies the way that I want to talk about them at the time of the review. And the way I'm feeling at the time of the review is the way that I talk about the movies. Now, I'll admit it's not very systematic. And it might drive you nuts if you like somebody that works from a formula. But I found that I can't work well from a formula, so I just got to give it to you how it's feeling at the time. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. I probably should have some notes, but I don't. And sometimes it comes out a hot mess, and sometimes it comes out great. Let's see what we get today from Logan's review. So this will be a non-spoiler review, you guys, which is a perfect time for me to insert that Anthony and I from Silver Screen Analysis will be doing a spoiler review tomorrow, 6 o'clock my time, Eastern Standard, 3 o'clock his time in the beautiful state of California. Please make sure that you join us live on YouTube. This should be a lot of fun, you guys. And we'll really get into the movie there. And I'll try and be very careful here because I don't want to spoil anything for you in this film. So let's talk about a synopsis of this movie. So here's what's going on. Logan is in the future. And I believe it's a dystopian future. I'm not really sure about that, but it certainly looks like a dystopian future. And he is very different from the Wolverine that you recognize. He is much older. He's got a whole bunch of things going on emotionally. He is taking care of Professor X on the border in this kind of shanty town, really, is what it is. And he comes across a young mutant that needs him, his help. The problem is this. He's trying to leave the life of Wolverine behind. He's done with that. He's Logan now. Just leave him alone. Just let him do life. He doesn't want anything to do with his past life. So he has to decide whether or not he's going to help this young young mutant, which would likely draw him back into some things. And he really just wants to leave it alone. He's done, you guys. He's done. He's I'm done with the whole Wolverine thing. So that is a synopsis of this film. So you know what's interesting about this? This is a movie that is really story driven. And it's a heck of a good story. But that's what makes Logan so powerful. And I think that's what will surprise a lot of you guys who go into this movie. I think you'll enjoy it. There's no question about that. Let's just put that out there right now. I would say I would say go see it, especially if you're a fan of superhero movies. But you'll be surprised at how powerful the story is and how well the story actually drives this film. The story is what makes this film good. Now, let me tell you why the story is so powerful. Because you are seeing a side of Wolverine that you're not used to seeing. You're going to see a side of Professor X that you're not used to seeing. You're used to seeing these characters in a certain light through some of the other Marvel films, but you get something very different here. You know, what's interesting is how this story is written. And I got to say, hats off, hats off to you, sir. James Mango, who I believe was the writer of the story. He was the, the director, I know, but I believe he was the, the writer as well. They really do a good job of having a superhero movie that really does depend on the story for it to be good and not just hangs its hat on popping claws or special effects or things like that for us to say at the end, oh, oh. I mean, the story is really what drives this movie and does make it very interesting. So you get to see a part of uh, Wolverine that's very human, that's very grounded. Now, here's the interesting thing that I think is interesting. We always forget that mutant superheroes in particular, they are humans. Sometimes we, I think we, we take them out of that framework and we think, oh, they're superheroes, so they can't have any idea what it's like to be human. Well, most of these guys that were born on Earth that have the mutant gene, they're humans. So they have the same problems that you and I have. It's just that they have some kind of special ability. Well, in this movie, what we see here is that the mutant life that Logan has led has taken its toll on him. Physically, he is older, but it's also taken its toll on him emotionally. He's done with all of that. 
and he really brings that across in the movie and that's that's kind of a unique aspect of this film that really kind of makes you feel for what you're seeing it really does kind of pull you into the picture because it's not something that you actually see a lot the same thing with Professor X. The fact that you see an alien Professor X, the fact that you see a Professor X that, that, that is very, very frail is something new to us because you're used to seeing an Omega level mutant Professor X that is profoundly powerful. He may not be able to walk, but he's a force to be reckoned with. In this movie, he is ailing. He is frail and you see him in a different light too. But again, it humanizes him and you get to see kind of all of the angst that he's developed from his past as well. So it's that kind of story that drives this film that really makes it very good. And you say to yourself, well, Al, what is that? Well, what is this? Some kind of some kind of weak drama? Well, it is a drama, but it's still very much a superhero movie. So let's get to that and satisfy some of you who might wonder, well, when are we going to talk about the superhero stuff? Guys, make no mistake, for anybody who wanted to see Wolverine kind of pop the claws and go to work, he goes to work in this movie. It is it, it is very raw, very, uh, I always want to use the word visceral, and I'm, I'm not even sure if it's the, the appropriate word, but it just sounds good. Very visceral. He gets to slicing and dicing in this movie. I mean, and, and, and you see some stuff going on. You got limbs flying and all kinds of stuff. So if you've ever really wanted to see Wolverine Unchained, oh, trust me, you get that in this movie. The action in this movie is unparalleled, and it's not CGI riddled, or at least it doesn't appear to be. I mean, you got good old-fashioned stunt work in this movie through and through. And let me tell you, I mean, there, there are going to be some scenes in this movie where you're going to be like, ooh. When you see it, <laughs> because I was like, I mean, you, you, there, are, he gets down in this movie. So for everybody who has been waiting to see something like that, you will see that in Logan. So Logan is really a nice mix, you guys. It's really story driven. The performances are really good, very strong in this movie. X-23, she does a really good job in this movie as well. Very powerful performance by her, given that through a large part of this movie, she does not have a lot of, um, a lot of speaking part she's quiet but she even her presence on the screen comes across very well and it fits very well within the context of the story so the performances are very good the action in this film is dynamic I mean you will not be upset by that at all and I thought the story in this film was pretty good also there is a character in this film that feels a little bit expendable I mean people are saying that he he was a plot device I'm not even sure how he served in that purpose. I wasn't really sure why he was there. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what Anthony has to say about that tomorrow, too. I don't want to get too much into it because I don't want to spoil it. But I wasn't even sure why he was, was, was there. He was good, but I'm like, why is he here? And that bothers me in movies when people kind of have have individuals that are there that don't really seem to serve a real purpose it's okay if you're a plot device i don't have any problem with that but if you're there and you you really don't bring anything to the movie i that bothers me so anyway uh we're gonna talk about that tomorrow so i'm, I'm curious to see anthony's thoughts on this one character and i can give you the name of course tomorrow so but i thought that the story was good the one gripe i do have about the film and i'm trying to even think whether or not I really feel this way. I, just a small bit, I felt like the pacing was off. I felt like it was it was a little bit long. And my thoughts actually changed on that. Because last night when I was thinking about it, I did feel like the pacing was fine. But then as I mulled it over more today, I was like, oh, it could have been a little bit a little bit shorter. But it doesn't detract from the film. So that's the good part. It wasn't like, it wasn't so, so upsetting to me that I was like, oh my gosh. Speed it up, please. Um, I wasn't like that. So, all in all, I thought Wolverine was great. I think that you guys will really enjoy it. I think that you guys will find it to be a very unique superhero movie and something that you've not seen in a long time, especially from uh, a quote-unquote X-Men movie. The way that it was done was was awesome. Um, I can't tell you that because that's a spoiler. All right, you guys, so... Again, just to remind you that Anthony and I from Silver Screen Analysis, tomorrow we will be doing our spoiler review for Wolverine at 6 o'clock. So look forward to that, you guys. You can see it at 6 o'clock live, Eastern Standard Time, 3 o'clock if you are in California, and we will be doing it live on YouTube. So join us, 
so that we can get into this movie in more detail together. With that, guys, thank you so much, as always, for taking the time out to watch anything that I do. You know that I really do appreciate it. You guys, this is something that I love to do. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And please make sure that you comment below. If you saw it, let us know what you think about the video. And what else do I need to tell you? Oh, hit that little bell button so that you can uh, subscribe, or I probably should say subscribe first, and then hit the little bell button so you get the notifications when there is a new video out. Thank you guys again so much, and with that, I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.